Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in this video, I'm going to go over the changes from Toontown. I was in Las Vegas yesterday, so I couldn't cover this immediately, but I'm back home, and yeah, let's go over these changes. This is incredible. I'm super excited that Toontown is getting a reimagining along opening alongside Mickey Minnie's Runway Railway. Toontown will close March 2022, just in a few months, and reopen in 2023 with Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway, hopefully by the summer. And it'll be a beautiful, nice new land, but some things are missing. Some things are aren't sure. I'm not sure if they're staying. And one thing is a little concerning because it's one of my favorite rides in the park. So I hope that's staying. But as you see, this is a new wishing tree and fountain area they're gonna have right when you come into Toontown, I think on the left hand side. And or sorry, on the right hand side. And here's an overall view of what will what's gonna what Toontown's gonna look like. And as you see, you come in the left hand side will be the new Centennial Park. A play on the Centennial Park. And it looks like Donald's boat will stay. But the Chip and Dale Treehouse, as you can see, that rendering is gone. As well as the Jolly Holiday Station and tracks are gone as well. I know Fresh Bake, or there's a rumor that I guess Dave from Fresh Bake heard that they were going to bring that back. But it looks like, yeah, it's completely gone. The station is gone. It looks like they're even going to move, gonna, they're going to push the street up a little bit. And where the station would be now is where that, the Centennial Park is. And Honestly, I love this idea. I love more greenery, more shade, and it looks much more like a neighborhood now. Uh, you know, Mickey's and Minnie's houses, they look like a nice neighborhood. But the large Central Park area, that looks like look, will look like a beautiful neighborhood in an actual tune town. Now, here this picture was a, from my shadow, the last one was too. But this one, they, they zoomed in, and this confirms... The Gadgets Go coaster is still there. You can see it on the left-hand side, a little coaster zooming in. But there's a little dark passageway. It looks like a bridge to Galaxy's Edge, which is very helpful. But right now, Toontown and Galaxy's Edge are kind of dead-end areas, um, but they're right next to each other. So if it just makes a connection, that would really help with crowd flow, um, going in and out of the land, and it would just make things flow a bit easier and continue that circle nature of that you can go in Disneyland and just walk in a whole circle again, which would be awesome. And again, Chip and Dale's Treehouse is gone in place of that structure, uh, which no one probably really run on Chip and Dale's Treehouse anyway. Moving along here, they replaced Mickey's Fountain, or Mickey Mini, or Mickey, yeah, Mickey's Fountain with uh, just a tree. Nice tree, little park. They're going to build a new fountain near that Centennial Park area, but Mickey and Minnie's houses are staying. I wonder if they'll get a refresh. They probably will, but I'm maybe even like an interior refresh as well. Maybe some new furniture. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe Mickey and Minnie will, you know, upgrade. Now, people upgrade their houses over the decades, so in the 25 years that that's been, uh, Tim Town's been open, I'm sure Mickey and Minnie have some decorating. At least Minnie, for sure, has some decorating to do. So I'm be curious to see what the inside of their house is look like hopefully they will upgrade the furniture and upgrade maybe put some cool interactive experiences in there as well some modern technology in there that'd be pretty awesome for Mickey and Minnie's houses and uh moving on to the next side this is the part I was a little concerned about so this is the area where Roger's rabbit Roger's rabbit is one looks like the fountain is gone or this whole area that's kind of blurred out, so maybe it's not confirmed, or maybe it's, you know, maybe there's still, it's in flux, but it looks like the fountain is gone. Makes sense, going to put a new Mickey fountain in, in the park area. But Roger Rabbit, the building's there, but the marquee's gone, and there's no, like, references at all to Roger Rabbit, which has me a little concerning, because I really like that idea. I really like the movie. I really like the ride. Even if it gets an overlay, again, I really like the movie, so I hope it doesn't get an overlay. I hope Disney will give us more details on Roger Rabbit a little later. Um, I hope it is staying, because they're putting money into it. Again, they're moving Jessica Rabbit around and putting a whole new story on her, with her, with the trench coat and stuff like that. Um, sure, that's maybe not, like, a lot of money, but 
I feel like that since they're putting some money into it and they're still in the process of doing that, I feel like Roger Rabbit will come back um, with the same theme and maybe maybe even just a new facade, maybe a new marquee as well. Um, that would be very interesting. Like, again, I wonder if they're going to update that whole downtown area with kind of new building facades, like updating to like modern times. That would be very interesting. But yeah, hopefully Robert Ra Roger Rabbit does not go away and just got, gets brought in to the 2020s. One last look at that Centennial, Centennial Park. There's a uh, close look at the new fountain that is going to move over there. And there's that new pathway that's being built, still under construction, between Toontown and Fantasyland. But yeah, and this is going to have this area, by the way, is going to have interactive areas for the small children and the whole family to play and just relax. Like, you can probably even have a picnic here, buy some food at Clarabelle's or Pluto's hot dogs and sit on sit on the ground and just relax like an actual neighborhood vibe and I love that I absolutely love that for Toontown an actual park like vibe that is that'd be really cool and I can this would probably be one of the places uh people can just hang out all day while the kids run around and on Donald's boat or whatever they just run around on in the park It'll be like an actual park day right in the middle of Disneyland, which is fantastic. Another good thing that just came up to mind is this would be a really good fireworks viewing spot location. Maybe they had that in mind when they were designing it because people watch or oh, although Toontown closes for the fireworks. Hmm. But Toontown would have to be, you think Toontown would want to be open for the fireworks. So Disney would try to find a way to keep Toontown open for the fireworks because they wouldn't want their massive e-ticket attraction closing at, um, you know, 8 p.m. or whatever every night. But there'll be the big new big ticket attraction, especially if they're going to make a connection to Galaxy's Edge. You don't want people to not, again, Galaxy's Edge will be a dead end again because the connection will be cut off. Hmm. So I'm sure Disney will find a way to keep Toontown open. I mean, they're already doing lower level fireworks and more projection shows, but I'm sure they can just switch up the fireworks spots um, so the debris fallout won't fall onto Doontown. And if so, this park would be a fantastic viewing spot um, and a really unique viewing spot for fireworks in the future, just in a couple of years, well, really like a year and a half. So that'd be very interesting. I'm very, very curious to see how that would work. And I feel like this would be one of those, just like Main Street, this could be one of those spots people camp out hours for just to catch a glimpse from the, for the fireworks from this location because it looks just very inviting and relaxing even though it's just kind of watercolored and it's kind of it's not super clear i can't wait to get some like more high definite hd renderings uh and concept out of this as we move into 2022 and 2023 but yeah this is this is looking really really cool but what do you guys think about this new concept art and Toontown in general getting a refresh? I'm so glad Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is coming here because Toontown right now is looking so sad with uh, lots of things broken. The Jolly Trolley's not even on, not even on the tracks. Um, but it looks like in just a year and a half or so, it's going to be quite lively again. So that's quite nice. Yeah, let me know guys, what you guys think. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button and, subs and subscribe for more theme park updates. As always, have a fantastic evening.